Mm. Mm. Well, I've just been doing Chinese philosophy, and in Chinese philosophy, a Taoist would say, no traits. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Okay. But, a, okay, so we, we won't do the Taoist thing. And um, I think two things. One is that possibility to just send yourself back in time and be able to visualize what's going on at the time. So if we're talking 2,000 years ago, to be able to visualize the picture. So one thing is to be able to literally visualize, to be part of it, to actually sort of go back and say, okay, I'm walking along a 2,000-year-old street, which is now brand new. It's just been built by Mr. So-and-so. And we're all looking around and saying, wow, how did he do this and everything? You know, we hadn't seen anything like this before. And just project myself back. Because then when you tell the story, you tell it like you're coming from that street. And that, mm. that's, people can relate to that. So one is to be able to conjure up that moment. And the other one is to really see things, but really from both sides of the street. So... Well, objectivity, you mean? It is a kind of objectivity, but you know, you're always going to be a little bit subjective. You're never going to actually take yourself right out of the equation. I, I don't think you should, you know, because the, the beauty of each historian is his angle, the way he sees things. But certainly to try to, when, especially when a character has been blackened in history, yeah. to try to yeah, yeah. get the other angle. So let's say that, you know, we decide that people are not inherently bad. But this guy has been really bad. Well, why was he like that? You know, what was he? What was he aiming at? What was? Where was he going with this? You know, I don't think anybody wakes up in the morning and says, "Okay, I want everybody to hate me because, you know, then I'm going to have a great day." So, if people are sort of hating this ruler because this, this, you know, what was in his mind, mm -hmm. and come from it from there. So, those are the two things I think make a a good historian, to be able to project back, literally out of today, and to see where where this guy's coming from. That's a perfect answer, I, I have to say. You want to do another one before I go? No, I'm so perfect that I just, you know, I think I overdid this. <laughs> I think I'll just rest on my laurels right now.